Good evening, I'm Mark McAllister. It was two years ago today when Toronto was rocked by the tragedy involving innocent people being run down on Young Street in North Toronto. Today is the two-year anniversary. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, people weren't able to come together to remember in person. A bouquet of flowers and a couple of messages in chalk on Young Street, including the much-used Toronto Strong to commemorate one of the darkest moments in the city's history. Very few people were on hand this year near the location where 10 people were killed and 16 injured in North Toronto in 2018, respecting requests from city officials to continue to stay home. Instead, Mayor John Tory offered these thoughts from City Hall. Today we take the time to properly recognize all of those lives lost and those who were injured in the Young Street tragedy, and to recognize the fact that it changed in some respects our city forever. Let us honor today and every day the memories of those we lost. We can do that by demonstrating every day, today and every other day, our blessed Canadian values. Ten candles were lit for the lives lost on that day, later to be placed in the mayor's office window. Flags at Mel Lastman Square were lowered to half staff, as was the Canadian flag at City Hall early in the afternoon. Toronto police released a statement saying, quote, as we mark this somber anniversary, we honor the victims of this senseless tragedy, pay tribute to the incredible heroes of that day, and pledge to continue to support one another, united in the spirit of love, compassion, that is the hallmark of our city. For Torontonians, I know it'll be a hard day as well, as we remember the victims of the van attack on Young Street two years ago. Together we mourn, and together we heal. Because just as Canadians were there for each other two years ago, we're there for each other today. I want to take a minute to remember and honour the victims on the second anniversary of the Toronto van attack. In the face of this horrible tragedy, we came together to support one another as a community and as Canadians, standing strong and united in the face of a cowardly act of violence. The accused, Alec Manassian, was arrested by police on the scene soon after the attack. He told police his acts were deliberate in retribution for being turned down by women over time. His trial was supposed to have begun by now, but has been delayed until later this year.